I'm just trying to run through the plans in my head. Um, I feel really bad for people that don't have family in the area um, and don't have uh, flexibility in their work schedule because I don't know what they would do. We're very blessed in that respect. So. Many families in Lafayette Parish getting ready for their students to go fully virtual next week. Administrators say it has nothing to do with COVID-19 cases, but instead they're looking at this as a test in case the pandemic forces the district into virtual learning next year. Three's on the street tonight. Katie Easter joins us live from Lafayette with more on what parents have to say about the change. Katie. I spoke to some parents right or just moments after the news was announced today, and let's just say some were shocked and even some worried about how they're going to juggle work and having their children at home. The pickup line at Myrtle Place Elementary School formed just minutes after LPSS notified parents about next week's virtual instruction. It's okay for me because I have a flexible schedule and I'm able to tend to my kids and so is my husband. I was kind of concerned about people who cannot, but we're just fortunate that we can. I'm not sure what it's going to be like and I'm not sure how we're gonna do it because we are a two parent working household. For most elementary students, virtual learning will be a first. Hannah Welsh had some experience with our children at the beginning of the pandemic. It's very hard. Uh, I got everything on their computer and made them do it on pen and paper. And then if they have to submit their answers, then they do it on the computer. So that way it's like they have it in front of them and then do it, so. When it comes to devices, LPSS says all students have the technology they need for virtual learning. Students and parents say they have their work cut out for them next week. Um, them not wanting to get snacks every two minutes and them actually like focus on doing their schoolwork. I'm more nervous about her than I am for my sixth grader because I will have to give her more attention, but we'll just do what we have to do. So I just kind of take it day by day and go with the flow and try to trust my instincts that this is for the best and I'll make it work. An elementary school teacher told me Chromebooks will be going home with the students on Friday. Threes on the street, live in Lafayette, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3.